Hello, good people. Um, here we go. All you uh, Southern fans out there, and I know there are some, uh, Class 33, Eastley. Now, that cab light's on, and I don't want it on, so because I don't like the idea of it running with a cab light on. I haven't put the um, flashlight on the phone as I'm filming this one because um, what lovely autumn su oh, autumn su autumn sunshine today shining in here. So let's have a look at this. It's a Helgen model. And I've had it probably about 12 years, something like that. I know it runs perfect and um hell do not have updated this tooling slightly but you never know unless you know what to look for and uh look at that just straight out the box running smooth as silk so a credit to the company um i've got two of these 33s uh this is carrying both its tops number and its original D number. And uh, when it was brought out, when, when the loco was built, the real thing, it wouldn't have carried easily name plates. It was just D6508. Right, but it's got 33008 and it's also got the headlight. Oops, it went out of focus then. So yeah, um still out of focus. That's bad. Yeah, it's it's got um markings on it that you'd look at it and say, well that's not in its original nineteen sixties, early nineteen sixties VR lip uh, condition. Um and yeah, um Helgen have got different body shells to uh, replicate that and the whole body style changes that the thirty threes uh, went through um, from when they were built in the early 60s and some still running today and some on heritage lines but always found on the southern region um, rarely ventured off of it and uh, we'll have a closer look shortly but all that lovely detail got the, the single headlamp in the front which they weren't built with and the number on the front yellow warning panel of 008. And that orange cank rail line there. But um, I've got an earlier one without the green panel on it. It's surprising how that sort of stuff makes the loco look different. You know, deliveries make a huge difference to the way locos look. As you know, I don't go for anything other than BR green diesels, okay, because that's my period I'm, I'm going to model. It's got to be the old British Railways up to about 1964. No BR blue at all, and none of these sectorization colours, you know, privatisation colours. No, nope, they're all barred. <laughs> but this one sort of really got through the net, but um, because it's in the BR green and it was a good price, I think, um, that's why I have it. So we'll let that go around one more time and uh, we'll stop the film and uh, have a look at her in more close detail. Like I said, I've had this one probably about 12, 15 years ago. Something like that, 2011 or whatever that is. Um, and back then, these locos were nowhere near as pricey as they are now. I think I would have picked this up for about 65 quid. Buy the same class 33 today would be more than double that. But then Heldon turn and say, well, we've upgraded the motor, we put more lights in it, you know, bits and bobs, but this is good enough, you know, and then we come out second hand. So let's um slow it down. Show you see that 008 on the on the front yellow warning panel. That's that's something that comes from I think it's what you call a heritage livery, livery really. That um, the train operating company or whoever owned it decided to put easily in, and it got named after the famous works. That still stops nicely. 
I've got the white roof, obviously my driver and second man in there. Just about make them out. Now, I can't remember if I, those lights in the cab were in, in there, working the main beam light there, and I've moved it, or they're, they're there. I can't remember which it is. Just a minute, I'll just close the door. Making the noise, right, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's got, uh, there's the original BR logo there. I'd say it's got the, uh, this, let's get the screwdriver. This, this line here, Kent Rail. Never seen when they were built. That's a later edition. What else? Apart from the name plates. Oh, that's it. Uh, these uh, windows are prone to just falling out because they were never glued in properly. So when they fall out, they're very difficult to work out how to go get them back in. And when they first started falling out, I um, tried to put them in from the inside of the body shell, but that's wrong. They actually go in from the outside. I have to carefully line up the shape of it because they're a very odd shape and then push them in. I haven't glued them because glue and clear windows are not compatible. So I've push fitted them back in again. At the moment, they're staying in. Yeah, Helgens do suffer from droopy couplings. Either way, that coupling there is drooping down. They need to sort that out because I've just looked at a model, another model, it's just come out and uh, it's got the same problem. But no, on, on the whole, they're a good company and um, they're worth uh, getting their products. I wasn't aware of them until about 15 years ago when I first came across the Western Class 52s and I thought, what a fabulous model they are, I must get one. I end up getting three. But they were cheaper then. So yeah, sorry I'm eating a sweet. Um, yeah, so that's in a nutshell D6508 Class 33. So we'll set it off again. It's only a short one this one. It's like an interim video. And um, I'll see you on the next one.